What is up, everybody? It is Master Wolf here, along with Nick and I from Teach Boom Beach for another mobile gaming podcast. We need a name for this pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, guys, what's going on? Uh, we kind of throw ideas back and forth. We were going like off at night, just generic mobile gamer podcast. But what would be a good name for this? Hit us up with some comments down below. That's one of the things we wanted to get out in the open right in the beginning of this episode. Yeah, there's like loads of names we were looking at, like. We were comparing it. Was it like PewDiePie's was like broken? Yeah, it, it broken. works so well because it's bros for pewds and then Ken for Ken. For Ken Cinnamon Toast or whatever cinnamon his to weird uh, name is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we want some kind of name. So hit us up with the comment section down below and uh, whoever gets it, obviously, we'll give you a shout out as well, which will be super nice for you. But we're starting off with some exciting and mysterious news. Mm, secret project mm. news. Secret project news, but I'm not 100% sure how much we're allowed to tell you about it, but I've got my apps open, and it is one of the apps on my screen. Hmm. I don't have too many games, so take a guess, guys. Take a guess? Anybody guess Boom Beach! Boom Beach! Boom Beach! Right, let's Ooh. go on to this. So, yeah, uh, Nick and myself, and a few other YouTubers, may or may not be going to uh, Helsinki soon. <laughs> yeah, may or may not for uh, some secret projects, and I guess you'll be hearing about more of it on our main channel or on our channels just uh, besides this video. But we do want to hint at it now and get it out there in the open. Yeah, it's so a kind of building up hype. So, you know, cause there's so much. I mean, we don't even know really what we're going for yet. We've only been hyped up like we're hyping you right now. So it's kind of exciting for us. Um, I mean, oh, I'm expecting. Yes. Yeah, some kind of uh, awesomeness to be added, or, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but I really want to know, so I really want to go now, but we've yeah. got to wait, like, what? I was just we... promised a lot of, like, bubble baths and a, hot, <laughs> a warm tub and something, I don't know, it's going to be Some freebies weird. from the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. And some I've never sheep splatters. Do you guys still eat sheep splatters in the UK? Sheep splatters? <laughs> yeah. You eat sheep's bladders. No, no, I thought that's what you guys eat. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man. No, I've never heard of it. We eat, like... McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, we eat McDonald's. That's that's probably sheep's bladder. Oh. Uh, she yeah, that's probably not the nicest stuff. Oh, no, that's, yeah, I think it's the Irish. The haggis? Oh, yeah, they have haggis. Okay. Yeah, that's weird, haggis. I've tried mm. it. I don't really like it. Um, but nah. I don't know. Some people really like it, and I don't, I don't know how. Like, when I taste those kind of things, it's just not nice at all. It's, I guess it's the texture that does it for you. Yeah. Yeah, it probably is. Who knows? <laughs> I just beat uh, NPC base in Boom Beach just because we were talking about it, but we already managed to talk about sheep splatters after just one game, not even a full <laughs> game. <laughs> not even a full game, and we're kind of off topic going on to uh, sheep splatters, but I don't know. It's, it's good. I've been slowly um, putting Boom Beach down more, so if there is some kind of awesome update, I'm really looking forward to picking it back up, because when the game came out, I was going ham on it. I think that's the first time I met you, wasn't it, Nick? Through uh, yeah, be through in Boom Beach. We were two of the biggest boomers out there, and then yeah. uh, I still love my high-level account, but I'm definitely craving something more from the game. So I'm hoping that the secret project has something cool in store. Yeah, I think that there's definitely something that's going to be added. And to be honest, you, you know, they never really do any updates except for really big ones. They've done little teasers, but they've said that you know they're little little teasers, like uh, was it the volcano bases? Yeah. Um, but, they even you know, said that there was like a smallish update in September or, or August, and September, one. and then a bigger one coming later than the fall. And it's later in the fall, so let's see what we got. Yeah, exactly. So I'm pretty hyped for that. Um, but with Boom Beach, there's actually a load of games come out quite recently or coming out mm -hmm. that show, I don't know, a promise, I guess, to the, to the mobile gaming world. I mean, we've both played uh, Vainglory. Oh, yeah. I just put my first video up last night. Um... Yeah, and I was talking with the team. They they gave us both of us some codes. I'll load it up now. It's a pretty sweet game. It's uh, it's a little it's more yeah. It's MOBA. It's a little different than these other games, but it's crazy how they're bringing that. Apparently, someone commented there's a game that's already brought MOBA to iOS. Yeah, somewhat. I had that same comment, but I didn't couldn't find any really. Yeah, but. I couldn't find any, and but I don't know if it even if it does it this well because this is like crazy well done. Yeah, I, that's the one thing I really like about it. Like, playing it, it looks like, you know, I've, I mean, I personally don't play League of Legends or Dota 2 or anything like that. But whenever I watch it, this looks the exact same. So I would have no idea that this was on a mobile device. Yeah, I mean, the is. attack, they've got the full features of, you know, starting at the shop, buying your items, moving out to the battles. It's, is that on all the PC games as well? Yeah, the only thing is it's like, because all you do is uh, 1, 2, or Q, W, E... 
R, you use four buttons really, a couple other ones, and the mouse clicks. I know I'm probably a noob saying that, but you can do all <laughs> the same things just on the iPad here, so it works very well. So it's pretty much the same. Yeah, it is pretty good. It's currently only running Singapore servers, so there's a little bit of lag. Actually, it's quite yeah. a bit of lag. So like, right now, like... mine says poor network connection, even though I have really good down and up speed on my internet. You put what ping are you getting on that? 300. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, what I was getting. It's, but when I go and play League, I'm at like 50, so it's clearly just the servers I'm connecting to. Yeah, it's got to be the servers, but that's coming out later this year. It's actually one of the first one of the first games to use the new Metal um, mm -hmm. system, which is going to be pretty exciting, and it does look really good. Um, and I'm not saying that just because people have said, oh, it's using Metal, it's for the new, you know, I would say the new yeah. devices. It just looks really nice. It like, does. They've really maximized what these tablets and phones can do. Yeah, the only like little bit of lag, little bit of jutter I've had is I guess from networking. Yeah. But I haven't I haven't even played people online yet. Actually, I've only done the single player. Hmm. But I yeah, need to be yeah, online. me too. I've just done practice and then the tutorials, just yeah, learning the characters. Things. I know some people get really sweaty on uh, on those kind of games. Like, it, like the League of Legends Championship is huge. Yeah. absolutely huge and it's weird how big it is because personally i don't see the thrill in it uh, but i've actually enjoyed this because like when i was on the train you know i had like 20 minutes and i played that and it was nice rather than having to obviously on the other games we play classic clans boom beach etc we have to like wait don't we for stuff yeah Whereas, you just play and it's you just start a new game that's all you have to do and you're already going it's free as well and it is free i was surprised i don't know if it's gonna be free at launch i'm sure there'll be uh, like uh well, League is free, and you just buy things in game. I wonder if it'll be the same. Oh, way. really? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be how they do it, though. But personally, I kind of prefer that. I think. Yeah. Unless you have to buy everything to like progress. Like, if you can still progress at your own rate um, without buying stuff, that's great. But if you have to buy stuff prog to progress, that's where it gets really frustrating. Yeah. I think that's where most people kind it's of. It's like buying level ten walls. You just really can't do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those kind of things, but... And also, yeah, so I'll be like, I farmed, I have 900 billion gold grab, Nick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I know. The gold grabbing in, in Clash of Clans is um, quite obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid to say it either. Like, I obviously, I've used gems in my videos, but people like sweat over their gold grabs. Quite, I find it quite funny. Yeah. But um, but that's it, cool. Like, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm playing Why the not? game right now. I'm not going to have enough time to finish this round in the video here, but... Very cool, just a quick taste of it, guys. Um, I know I'm gonna be putting it on my second channel. Are you putting it on your main or your second? Or um, I, I'm not 100 sure yet. I think second. I've done one video on my main, but I'll see how it goes. See what happens like closer to uh, to release date, I guess. Yeah. But the name of the company that make it is awesome. Super Evil Mega Corp. Super Evil Mega Corp. They need to say like when the game starts up, it's just a little image, but they need to do some kind uh, of yeah. thing. They could just that could have been the game's name. Yeah, and just so you guys know, they did want me to announce that it is live in Australia, Southeast Asia. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I don't know how to survive that. Southeast Asia, Australia, and New Zealand right now. Yeah, but us up here in Europe and America are gonna have to wait. As all the games seem to be like that recently. Yeah, it's either that or Canada. They just pick one or the other. It's weird, eh? Yeah, it's, it's kind of strange. Like, why? I don't know why they get. I get, but it's not the full model, is it? That's. It's like a still in beta to a degree, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So, I guess then we get the full game, we don't have to worry about any of the kind of betas and stuff, so it's probably yeah. probably better for us, but off the topic of these MOBAs is the new I'm going to say Clash of Clans style, but people are going to go, no, Clash of Clans was a copy of uh, Backyard Monsters, whatever it was, so um, Are you talking about Tiny Troopers? Tiny Troopers, yeah, I forgot uh, yeah. the name. Let's, let's I, see I, if it loads. I, oh god, don't even try. Mine All didn't right. load. I, I tried to load mine and it said network error, but when I've gotten to play the game, it's really fun. Has yours loaded? Um, let's see. The moment of suspense. I'm on halfway. Half bar. This is where That's where mine freezes. It either freezes or goes. Has Kukuri done it? Kukuri! Published load? by Chilingo. Yeah, it's a big company to be published by. Oh man, I'm, I'm half barring it right now. Oh no. That's, that sounds so, like a network error. I managed. Oh, connection lost. Oh. <laughs> Let's uh, try it. Um, I think normally the third time it loads. Alright guys, so once this patches out and this game is playable, it actually doesn't look bad. It has cool it's, like it's crevice. It's really good. Yeah, what do you think about that really like canyon good. thing? Yeah, I, that, that surprised me actually. Um, lots of people, like I did, I've done one episode on my channel, like just one, you know, let's play of seeing what's going on. And everybody was like, what the hell is the canyon for in the middle? And to be honest, I'm still quite confused about it. I think it's 
a way to you know customize your funneling to make people walk across the bridges differently, right? Yeah, that's what yeah I think I so. Think. Can you move it though? I don't know, but that's when I saw bridge. it, I initially like you know those defense games where you like have like bridges and the path they have to follow. It might... Oh, like uh, Bloom style defense kind of stuff. Yeah, like that or like uh, uh, field runners and stuff like that. Other oh yeah, big yeah. Games. yeah, yeah. I originally like merged that and Clash and like combined them in my mind. That's what I was thinking this looked like. Oh, okay, like it has like different layers to it. Yeah, so I can't okay. I can't play it right now, but uh, but no, it, it seems quite interesting. Maybe the next gamer podcast we will do this. Yeah, maybe it, it, we can load it up. But that's the thing; they've had a few problems with it recently. Uh, you just need to check the reviews on the app store, and people are like, "I can't load my base." Mm -hmm. um, but I tried to get everybody to comment on the app store, saying that I sent them there, and it went pretty well. I just <laughs> got tweeted. I got tweeted back by the company saying you're a rascal. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> so. I just loaded up Clash to uh, get a game that loads, and yeah, I, I just I think my one, base. Let me see if it worked. It worked. The one I difference, wanted. though, with like Tiny Troopers, is that you can control the troops. Oh yeah, I, so that's, I did get to play it once, and that's cool. That's like the biggest difference, and that is something that I really liked because yeah, you so don't you, get full yeah. control, but you get. Yeah, you drop them, and then you can double tap to select all of one troop, and then you pick what you want them to attack. So it's like a whole the whole battle. I guess you wouldn't be able to do since you're controlling every troop. Maybe there's not going to be heroes or spells, or maybe there are, I don't know. Um, I know that some troops aren't controllable. Okay. Later on so, in the game. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's they, Yeah, they basically just build on this kind of attack system, but do it their own way. Yeah, they add their little bits into it, which is it, which is pretty nice. Um, again, it, it is a copy, but I, I quite like it. I like copies. There's got to be competition to, to Clash of Clans, really, otherwise Clash of Clans don't have yeah. anything to need to improve. The only thing is, do you ever feel like... Like, uh, you have so many bases in all these games now that you just can't even, like, do any yeah. of them. Yeah, like, as soon as I finish one, I get a notification, like, yeah. oh, your, um, plunder's ready in Plunder Pirates, and, uh. It's like, oh man, I feel like I haven't, I haven't visited my, I'll just look at my screen right now so I can say, it. like, oh, my world domination, I haven't been on that in a month. This means more, I haven't been on that in a couple days. Boom Beach, that's probably my most checked. Then Clash, Heyday, like, a couple weeks. Pirates, like, maybe <laughs> one or two days. Star Wars Commander, eh, it's a little rough around the edges, but I do like the, the game. Yeah, I haven't played my Star Wars Commander in ages. To be honest, I'm only really focusing on uh, Clash of Clans and more Boom Beach, really. But yeah. I, I find I play Boom Beach by myself rather than make videos on it. I don't know why. Um, um Yeah, I mean, I guess there's... Hmm. I don't know. That is weird. I... It's just, I don't know, it's a different thing. Because I know my girlfriend plays Boom Beach a lot as well. Yeah, and we we just kind of play it like when we wake up or when we're at, at night in bed and we have nothing to do. It's like we're both beyond Boom Beach, huh. um, which is funny yeah, it is I don't definitely the last game I play. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those games that you finish up on. Whereas Clash Clans, you can just like leave it for like a week and you don't really need to do anything if you're upgrading. Yeah, especially well, if it's heroes. Yeah, Jesus, it's so um, expensive. Yeah, I uh, so much. I recently got mine to thirty two. Um, nice. Partially in help with gems, which is uh, okay, because I just want to, basically I just want to max out and then go up. So I'm just chilling in Masters 1 right now. Ah, cool. So, you you have an iPhone 6, right? Bus. Oh yeah, 6 plus, right here. Boom. How, how, is, how is it? Is it bendy? Oh no, it's, it's straight. It's straight, it's straight. What do you I, think uh, about all that? I worked at Apple when the iPhone 5s would bend, it just wasn't as mainstream. Um, all these phones will bend if you sit in your back pocket on them, if you just think oh, about yeah. it. yeah. They're aluminum, and I, I never have put a phone in my back pocket. Wallet always goes on my back right, phone always goes on my front left, and if I don't have them like that, I get like weirded out. So, yeah, it's uh, like, phones will bend. It's, you yeah. know, everything will bend. Like, I know the iPad's big, but you don't put that in your pocket, that's why it doesn't bend. Like, if I wanted it to really bend my iPad right now... Oh, this thing could snap in half. You could do it so easily, but... I don't know why people like the guy that did. You saw the video, I guess, on YouTube that literally went viral. Uh, that guy got eighty thousand subs in a day for that video. Wow. Um, and you know, it was like, oh yeah, I can bend it. He tried to bend the iPhone six and he couldn't. But it was like, you surely can bend the iPhone six normally as well. Like when I picked mine up to bend it, I like, not to you know have a look. I was like, yeah, you can bend this. There's, it's kind of airy in the middle. Yeah. Like you push the, you can push the glass down a little bit. Yeah, that's the thing. They are big, and that's, I mean, unless you want to have. A yeah. Nokia brick again that won't bend, it will just snap when you do it. Yeah. It's It'll break like, your hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just don't bend your phones. It's such a simple thing, but everybody got so uptight about it and angry mm -hmm. that they were like, I, I don't know. It, it really annoyed me actually because I was like, yeah, sure, it's going to bend. Just don't bend it. 
Yeah. Buy a case. Surely that works, doesn't it? If you just buy a nice case, that will, like, protect it. I guess so. They probably already have an otter box for it. Yeah. They probably do, actually. It's something, like, that will stain a tank driving over it, but people are still worried that it'll bend. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They get kind of crazy about those things, but... There's actually a, a, quite a few new phones coming out soon that um, look interesting. I don't know if you've looked into the Note 4 at um, all. Because you're very an, uh, iOS, aren't you? No. Oh. I know. Oh, wait, you, you haven't know. looked at it. No, I've uh, only known about... I knew that, that it was coming out. I've only seen the Note 3, though. Okay, so, yeah, I have the Note 3. Um, and it's, like, my favorite phone. I love it. But the Note 4 is coming out, and the Note 4 Edge is coming out. Have you seen that? Note 4 Edge, no. Okay, so the Note 4 Edge is a normal Note 4, so it has the 16 by 9 screen, 1080p, whatever. Okay. And then on the side of the the phone, the screen actually bends, and there's an extra screen there. Hmm. So it's got, in theory, two screens, and they're using this right-hand screen as a, a notification bar and an application bar. So if you want, you can have the ticker for the NHL scores, or you can have you know football scores or whatever you want on that sidebar while you're maybe... And watching a movie, it like it's that's an extra pretty bit. crazy. So yeah, it but, doesn't interrupt your screen like a notification in Clash would. Yeah, exactly. So you can have small notifications like text and stuff at the top, um, and it doesn't pop up on your screen. It doesn't stop your game. So say you're raiding and you get a text and you want to reply by voice. Normally, yeah. a, a new thing would pop up. You can't raid, and you know, you've got to record it. Whereas on this, like it'll pop up at the top. You got a new message. You press the record button. You can record your message while you're still playing Clash or whatever, and then, you know, it just doesn't bother you, which looks really cool. I'll definitely get it, but I'm just worried that, you know, when you hold a phone, yeah, your hands kind of go over that bit. Oh, yeah. And it's like, what if you accidentally just always press stuff? Huh. And it's about the size of the 6 Plus? It's a little bit smaller, so uh, it's the same size as the Note 3, which is... It's like a centimeter or two smaller um, top-wise, but I think it's the same okay. um, width. Yeah, the 6, it's definitely weird. Now I feel kind of normal holding it like this, but I picked up my 5 the other day, and it felt like I was holding an iPod, like, shuffle. Tiny. Have like, you picked up, a, like, a, a 4 since? No, I, oh I think God. I'd lose my mind. They're so <laughs> small now. It literally feels like you're, you know, it's a, like you're missing a tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> Weird. You've dropped a bit of your phone and you've got a, a small screen remaining. <laughs> it is a little bit odd. My pop filter's just fallen on me. Oh, still, well, we both we had something. My uh, my computer went to sleep a two minutes ago and I was just like trying to make sure everything was still oh, recording. Really? Yeah. I was like, everything's still recording? Good, good. Because <laughs> I need to get this program. It's called Caffeine for your Mac where if you're doing something, you just click like one button and your computer will never everything stays on 100% so it doesn't like oh okay because I've had it where my computer fell asleep and the the screen recorder froze right then for some reason oh gutted yeah I, it's everything always an good. issue yeah I mean if you get those kind of things oh but... youtuber problems youtuber pro first world problems <laughs> oh man so much hard work but that's the thing but recently you've been changing how you record haven't you so you're using hardwire now or yeah I'm mixing it up it depends like right now I do have the uh, the hapage wired up so everyone can see the the dongle coming off of the iPad here goes into HDMI. You've been doing that for a while now, I think. I, yeah, I've only ever been doing hardwire. Like, I, I didn't even know you could do it over Wi-Fi. I was quite gobsmacked. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got Reflector, I've got AirPlay, I've got all the Air Server, all those other ones. Um, this definitely looks better overall. Yeah. Um, the files are huge, though. Yeah, but quality. Like, it's we're quality. already at a 2 gig file for today, so it's okay. <laughs> You need a lot of space for it. That's that is the one bad thing. I used uh, I used Reflector for the first time when I was in a hotel the other day. Mm. Uh, I use I, do you do you use it right? Do you need a Wi-Fi in the middle, or can you do it from your iPad straight to your laptop without any other Wi-Fi? I do. No, you need Wi-Fi. You need so okay. So I was using like the hotel's Wi-Fi to connect to my. Oh, it must laptop. have been decent then if it worked. Yeah, it worked pretty well. They had like a, I think it was about 12 megabytes down, but I don't know what the upload was. Hmm. I guess it would be upload from your iPad, download from your PC. I don't know. It's kind of uh, confusing. That's what baffled me about it because I was like, oh yeah, I understand. you can send it like to your TV and stuff, can't you? If you're yeah, TV, I, yeah, I got the TV. Apple TV and you can send anything to your TV. Okay. Yeah, it, it worked pretty well. I noticed a little bit of stuttering here and there, but otherwise, you know, on the go, it was fine. Yeah. 
Um, you know what really interested me? Like, you watched um, Patrick uh, play Clash of Clans when he did the skydive thing? Yeah. How did he record his scream? Uh, he probably was using... I mean, the jailbroken. I, I think he was showing a replay as he was falling. Oh, was it? Yeah, he said this. it was a replay, but he kind of matched up when he dropped the troop. So, oh, okay. Um, but even if he wasn't, he could have used IRAC, and that does work with iOS 8. I did test it out. Let me see. I don't think I have it on my iPad. IRAC? I've never used it before. You need jailbroken for it. Oh, I've got it right here. Um, so you open it up. Okay, I uh, I think I have to re-download it for iOS 8. It doesn't seem like it's working right now, but it's non-jailbroken. Um, oh. You just have to like enable your accessibility button, which is kind of annoying, because it puts that like, button oh, the on the Oh, kind of weird square thing yeah and it uh it overwrites a setting to where you're able to record the screen i guess by doing that and that way it can capture games okay well, there you go if anybody wants to start up doing youtube get that because if mm -hmm. it's if it works on your phone or on your ipod i'd have to test that out because that sounds pretty interesting are the files big or are they uh medium i've, I've never done a full video using it i've only played around with it but oh, okay i just have it as an option if i ever needed to absolutely record something on the go yeah because it just saves to your, like, camera roll. Yeah. Oh, at least it works pretty well. Um, something that I noticed the other day. I was in I was in Toys R Us, as you do, being a big kid. Um, <laughs> Why with my were girlfriend. you in Toys R Us? That needs I, an explanation. Okay, the reason I went into Toys R Us was... Um, I, I don't have a reason. I just wanted to walk around Toys R Us with my <laughs> girlfriend. Um, and what we do when we go into Toys R Us, we uh, say everything like we have a kid. So I'll, I'll go in, and if I'm stood next to someone, and I'm looking at, like... Uh, uh, actually, I was buying Plants vs. Zombies blind bags to do a video, so technically, I was there on business. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I'd say, oh, Oliver would absolutely love this. And everybody, if they were listening in, would think, oh, I've got, like, a kid called Oliver or <laughs> something. But really, I'm just saying, yeah, I'd love this. That's funny. Um, but, yeah, I was going in there, and I looked around, and I was actually looking for uh, mobile gaming stuff. So, Clash of Clans toys, uh, phone cases, but there was nothing for... Anything except for Plants vs. Zombies or Angry Birds was everywhere. Oh yeah, they really go wild with Angry Birds. They do, don't they? But it works a treat. Like, the amount of Angry Birds stuff just, you know, that looked like it was selling. I guess it might not have been, but I don't understand why uh, Clash Clans, obviously being our main game, uh, and Boom Beach don't do, like, figurines. Yeah, I don't know if it's because Supercell, like, probably would only do it if it's absolutely perfect, because they're very, like, you know... All about their quality and stuff. Yeah, very picky. Or right. maybe they don't want to look like they're not. I don't want to say selling out, but like. I don't think um, it's selling out. I'd love to have some Clash of Clans figures. <laughs> yeah, I mean they send me posters and stuff, which is cool. I think figurines would be awesome, like a collect all the different character kind of thing. Yeah, or like um, you know, you could buy a hat that has like you know the king's king's uh, crown on it, that kind of thing. Like you can buy a Minecraft hat that's a, a creeper. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you get the, these themed hats, you get these themed stuff. I thought that'd be really cool, but even online, all I could find was some really crappy printed mugs. <laughs> or like, can you even imagine, like, figurines, but there's random ones? Like, um, like I got a loot crate last month they sent me. Like, there's random figurines in there, like, for Walking yeah. Dead and stuff, that you'll find that um, have, like... Like, certain ones will be, like, plated gold or have like a red sword or something different oh, okay. like imagine finding like the rare barbarian statue like how much those would go for yeah that'd be so cool <laughs> that's definitely something you need to do or like um have you seen that you can buy you can buy an ore of redstone that when you press it it lights up really that'd be sweet yeah but if you could get like a gem and when you press the gem the gem lights up <laughs> like, you know stuff like that like they could do so much for it and i don't think it'd be i don't I know if it'd be cheap of them yeah i guess not as long as but... it's done well maybe they just they do say they have small teams. Maybe they are still keeping 100% of the work on the game, and they don't want to... 100% of the profits. Yeah, or something. Yeah, they, I don't know. They must make a lot from it, though. But or, or my song starts playing when you push down on the king or something. That could be pretty <laughs> cool, couldn't it? Yeah. Nice, nice work with um, Supercell. You might get that in there. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool, though. Like, I think they could do a lot that they're missing there. Maybe maybe when we go over and uh, say hello, we'll, we'll bring some, like... Bring some ideas. Homemade... Homemade stuff. I'll get like the Play Doh <laughs> out and I'll, I'll build up like a king out of Play Doh. We'll be like, we got these first prototypes for you guys. These are free. <laughs> just uh, royalties yeah. is all we'll need. Yeah, just literally put our YouTube channel names on on, the, on each toy and, <laughs> and that would be absolutely fine. But even things like official phone cases. Yeah. Or t shirts. You can't get official t shirts, can you? Mm mm. It's weird because some sites like print them, but I know they could get shut down. Yeah, I thought that would be copyright if they were. Yeah. 
printing unless they have I, they can't have um the right surely I don't know how that surely. would surely surely but that's definitely something uh we need to pokemon and get him out pokemon, pokemon like <laughs> <laughs> yeah we need to have pokemon and, and like literally poke them not as in pokemon how do um, you uh get pikachu on the bus pokemon yeah uh, why do you never want to take a shower with a pokemon um he'll peek at you yeah he'll peek at you <laughs> nice yes That's i was only... just trying to turn them around like oh uh, yeah, I probably uh, should have waited a little bit till I said those jokes because they were easy to guess since we were just saying those words. Yeah, we were just saying them. <laughs> but those are the only two Pokemon jokes I know. I also am drinking some uh, actual warm tea today because as I was telling off earlier, it's like uh, 7 degrees Celsius or like 45-ish Fahrenheit here with my Tigger cup. Wait, 45 Celsius? Oh, oh, it's 7 degrees C. Yeah, it was like really cold you said 45 degrees C and I was like, whew. That's hot. <laughs> yeah, well, well, room temperature is 20, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's... Okay. It's like 7. It was, like, really cold. I went to walk Pretty my chilly. dog. Yeah. Damn. All right, well, it's not too bad here at the moment. It's kind of sunny, but it's been raining all day. But it's perfect day to stay in and play video games. That's that's what you got to think when it's cold. I thought that's every day. Yeah, it, it is. Like, as long <laughs> as you don't open the curtains, that, that's what uh, every day is. It's um, just be like, oh, it's rainy. Let's play games. You didn't yeah. even look. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gotta have some kind of gamer's weather forecast app that just says rain. <laughs> hey, there you go. There's another bloody open it up. Idea. The screen doesn't even load. It's just a, a picture. <laughs> yeah, that's copyright. That is, guys. By the way, you can't do that anymore. Yeah, it's, we verbally so, said it, so it's uh, patent, uh, intellectual patent. property. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many apps we can make? What if we can make our own game? What would you, if you could make your own I iOS game or just mobile game in general? What would it be? Uh, I'd be my face like tilted to the side with <laughs> like the picture you have that screenshot of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And you would just like get, you'd open the app and it would just like start raining gems. Raining gems? Like that you could use in real or just. Oh, yeah, you get to get free in app money. Oh, but, okay. That's But then nice. it resets every time you open it. Uh, right. Okay, but okay. I guess for real, what would you do? For real, um. It's, it's hard to pick, isn't it? Like. I wouldn't want to do a base building game. I wouldn't do want, want to do like a, a racing game. I've always been a fan of like Temple Run, but every mm. franchise has done their own Temple Run. Yeah, um, those like pick up and play and just go as far as you can games. Yeah, I think they they'd probably be better. I'm swapping my earbuds because my ears hurt. Um, mm. I think they'd be better because rather than having something that you know you literally need to sit down on. I think actually speaking of it, that's going to be the one problem with Vainglory is that the multiplayer games can take around an hour. Yeah, it'll be like, um, you'll get a lot of people just probably leaving if it is free and that they don't really care yeah. about their match. And you'll have some people sitting in a living room like, Mom, don't bother me, I'm playing Vainglory. And you'll have other people like, yeah, on the train. Sweating it. And then they get to like their destination, they just leave the game. I feel like that could be an issue. Mm. Maybe it That's should like, thing. like punish you almost if you like quit, like in Halo and stuff. I know you get a, or is that COD? I don't know, multiplayer games lately, they'll time you out if you quit too many ranked yeah. games. I think that's definitely something they need to that they might have to address because whenever I think of mobile gaming, it's I'm never on it. I mean, I actually am. I am with Clash Clans or whatever, but most people aren't on it for long. You get what, like 15 mm -hmm. minutes? Uh, yeah, probably. So it's something around that, but I don't know. It would have to be a game that's relatively quick. I know um, Syndicate did a, a zombie game very much like Temple Run, I think. Oh, he made one, or he played one. He, he made one with uh, C Nanas, I think. Huh. I'm not even sure. I'd have to double check that, but I think that's what happened. Um, but yeah, uh, some kind of mobile game would be cool. Maybe when when we hit like, what well, we set as a milestone, like if we hit like 500k each. Oh uh, yeah, we make a game. We make a game. So that's an incentive there, guys, to to, to to do it. Yeah. One million cumulative subs. Yeah, exactly. And then we make a of at night game. At night. <laughs> That could be some kind of horror game. That'll be the company that publishes it to the App Store, but it'll have its own name. Yeah. yeah be, that sounds like a good company name. Off it does, night. doesn't it? Over night. I but don't know what game. We'll I do name. love Super Evil Mega, though, so that's, we may have to Super come up with something Evil cooler. Mega. Maybe you guys will come up with an awesome name for this podcast. What are we at? 31 minutes. Okay. We're at 31 minutes, so we can start wrapping this up, because we want to keep these podcasts around 30 minutes. Yeah, the last one was like 40, but it was the first one, so we had a lot to talk about. 
Exactly. Um, but yeah, we try and keep up with all the news stories and like see what's around. But if you guys ever want us to talk about something directly, make sure you tell us uh, in the comments as well. If there's like something you want us to address or something cool that we can do. Uh, I'm sure if we are maybe or maybe not meeting up somewhere or somewhere not in the very near or very far future, we mm -hmm. could probably do a, uh, a couple of live ones on the couch, um, which would be quite interesting. Wait, we're going like to meet up? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure about this. Oh. Are you going to come to the US? No. There may oh. be something we're meeting. <laughs> oh, with our secret, super secret Maybe. Trip? Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe we'll meet <laughs> and then maybe we'll meet again. Exactly. You never know when we could meet. Never know. Maybe you're at my house. Maybe I'm outside. Let me show everyone um, my Minecraft pickaxe before we go. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Bring it out. Um, but it would be something cool to do that. So yeah, get your comments in, guys, so we know what to do. And we can get those off. Yeah, and we'll wrap it up here. We talked about a few games. And next episode, I'll pull the comments up on this video to uh, see which games you guys want to hear about. Uh, unless you got anything else, we'll wrap it up here. I am all done. I said the intro. You say the outro. I'll do the outro. And lately, people have been saying I say it too fast, so I'm going to just slow it slow down. Slow it down. So, you know, as Saturday. always, guys, hope you enjoyed our podcast. And you know what to do, because you're already doing it. Keep it tuned right here to The Master of and The Nick at Night. And we will see you in the next podcast. That's an epic outro. <laughs>